In this video, we're gonna show you how to pair a KDC 200 Bluetooth barcode scanner with an iPhone. Now, the KDC compared to an Opticon, they're roughly the same size. I like the build of the Opticons. They feel a little bit more sturdy. The KDC is just a little more plasticky. And one of the issues, we'll show you when we go scan it. One of the issues with the KDC is it's got a lot of options. So you can see there's an LCD screen and there's a whole menu and some up and down arrows. So you can go configure nearly everything, which is great. But for the most part, we just want a Bluetooth scanner that's gonna plug and play with our phone and make it very, very simple. So I'll show you one of the issues. The KDC scanner is incredibly fast and you'll notice that as we're scanning, it can actually read data a little bit faster than the Opticons. However, that can also be a problem depending if your phone's processor can, can catch up or not. But before we delve into that, let's show you how to pair it. Um, so to connect it to the phone, it's always a good idea to reset the device, especially since there's so many configuration options here. And the way to do that is we're gonna hold the down arrow and the scan button for about three seconds. So we're gonna press and hold those, wait for the yellow lights to pop up. So you see the yellow light flashing, we can release it. Now it's actually gonna reset. It'll say, you know, resetting or, or say the uh, model number on the screen. Give that a few seconds, wait till that disappears. And then we can continue through the pairing process. So now that that's continued, again, you can press the button. You can see the scanner shows up there. So step one was reset the device. Again, you can download this barcode sheet. There's some links down below the video. You can download these for free and it makes it a lot easier. You can also connect from the menu here itself. So we're gonna set the scanner to HID mode or keyboard mode, just scan that barcode. Step three is make it discoverable. So turn the Bluetooth on. It'll say pairing started. Go over to your iPhone, go to settings, Bluetooth, Turn Bluetooth on and then give it a couple seconds and it'll find the KDC. Once it's found it, it'll show up as a keyboard, then it'll say KDC, simply tap on that. Again, wait a few more seconds and it'll tell you that it's connected. Once it's connected, you can treat this just like any other data entry. So any app, any email, text message, anything you want, you can simply go in scan an item and it'll show up just like regular. But let me show you one of the problems here. So first one other feature, just like on the Opticons, you can press that, the function button or the small button to toggle the keyboard. Theoretically on the KDCs, you can press the down arrow. You can see it toggles the keyboard up and down. So if you do wanna get that out of the way and simply do some scanning, that's a really nice feature as well. So the down arrow again toggles the keyboard. Now I'm gonna grab a book and we're gonna scan it in. So an ISBN should be 13 digits. You'll notice only about six digits made their way into the text field there. So again, that's what I was saying is these scanners can almost scan too quickly. I don't know if we can see that on the, on the screen at all, but only shows about six digits instead of all 13. These almost go too fast and they outrace the processors on the phones. There's a way to turn that off. Basically go to settings and you have to have a newer KDC and it has to have the updated firmware as well. This one doesn't. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to settings, scroll down to find BT config. In there, there's gonna be some options uh, that say something like delay or inter-character delay. And you're gonna wanna go to that or HID menu, something like that. You're gonna wanna click on that and then go to inter-character delay and turn it on first of all, and then set that to either 50 or 100 milliseconds. That's gonna slow down the scanner, hopefully enough to make it work. Now a lot of apps will be ready to go, so we'll show you what happens in Scout IQ. Even though it won't read properly in a web application, if we scan some barcodes here, uh, fortunately the app is smart enough to catch that. But if for some reason it isn't, it's usually a phone processor speed issue. And again, I'm not knocking iPhones here. They're normally very, very fast. This scanner, I think, is almost too fast for its own good. So that's how to pair the scanner. When you're done, the, these do have settings that just times the scanner out. And so it'll actually just shut itself off or you can turn it off from the menu. And again, these battery life, they'll last a long time as well. They're great, just like the Opticons. So that's how to connect the KDC and use that with an iPhone.